Autumn is a time of great change. I mean, the change will weather the short days, the long nights, but it all presents well, a slight problem for our cyclists. Well, what on earth do we wear? We head out the door at five degrees and we get back at something like 15. Well, in this video, we're gonna give you some tips on how to prepare for fall riding so you can get the most of what this beautiful, colorful season has to offer. Yeah, talk about colorful season. You've got a colorful bike. It's gonna be called the Fall Bike, orange and green. Well, hopefully not that colorful, James. Yeah, otherwise I should be on it. <laughs> As we know, autumn offers all kinds of temperature changes. Cold, misty mornings, warm, sometimes hot afternoons. And as soon as the sun starts to drop, well, it does get rather nippy. So how do we dress for all these changes? Now, first top tip is to check the weather forecast. This is to ensure you don't get caught out. I mean, it is a changeable season. You could head out in the sun and get back in the rain. So do your best to check it before you head out the door. I mean, I mean, look at it. The sun is shining, blue sky, and we're in Britain. Yeah, I bet not talk too soon. Then have a think about how hard you're going to be riding and at what speed. If you're doing a tough effort up a really long climb, for example, you're going to overheat irrespective of the temperature. Connor, as Shrek once said, cyclists are like onions. It's all about layers. Layers, layers, layers. I'll try not to say layers again, but I promise it makes a huge amount of difference. Having layers makes you adaptable for the weather. I mean, the changeable weather in this changeable season. Yeah, it does. And if you head out with just two layers on you, you can quite easily overheat or become really, really cold if the temperature does drop. So what we recommend is wearing lots of layers. You can easily unzip, roll down, take off, and fit in your back pockets. How many layers have you got on, mate? Well, I'm wrapped up like an onion. It's all about layers. <laughs> wear an undervest. I tend to always wear an undervest. They come in many different shapes and sizes, from lightweight ones to long sleeved thick ones, for really cold riding. And I think you want to aim for one that really wicks the sweat away because you don't want to get damp from all that sweating when you're riding really hard, which will then cool you down at a later point in the ride. And also, you want to try and avoid any uncomfortable chafing that kind of rides when you don't wear an under jersey. So you definitely don't want that, really. This does all depend on what part of the world you are riding in. If you are in a warmer climate, then maybe a short sleeve jersey, like the one Hank is wearing now, might do the trick. But if you're in a colder climate, then maybe a long sleeve jersey will do as that second layer. Yeah, I would say, though, if you're wearing a short sleeve jersey like this one, then to bring a pair of arm warmers with you. The great thing about arm warmers is that you can put them on nice and easily and they do just keep you that bit warmer when you head out the door and there's a bit of a chill in the air. Woo! Yeah, your arms do kind of just sit there on the bike and they do cool you down if the temperature does drop. Moving on from arm warmers to leg warmers, these are again super easy to take off. If the temperature does heat up when you're out on your ride, I mean, you can roll them up and again, fit them in your back pocket. Yeah, I guess they're the perfect autumnal item of clothing, aren't they? they Super are. easy and quick to take on and off. So yeah. I guess we should put that to the test. Well, Connor, how fast can you take your leg warmers off and put them in your back pocket? Is that a challenge? That's a challenge, All mate. Right, you ready? Go, you Three, two, one, Right, here we go. One leg, two legs, zip. Unfortunately for Connor, it's going to take him longer than people with shorter legs. I did this in a race once and I only managed to get one leg warmer off and then I did the rest in one leg warmer. <laughs> You're not the only one, actually. <laughs> 13 oh. seconds. 13 seconds, all right. We have a tent might be done. 20 okay. seconds. Oh, right. In there. your back pocket. Back pocket, roll them up. Oh, oh, beautiful. 25 seconds. And they're in. Hairy legs there, you see your hairy thighs. <laughs> oh, see, I'd have done that in the time it takes you to go to the toilet, Hank. 36 seconds. Autumn can bring some pretty biblical rain showers. So if you do want to avoid getting wet, we do recommend getting yourself a decent rain cape. Now, there's plenty of rain capes out there on the market, but we would recommend getting one that's fairly lightweight that you can easily roll up 
and fit in your back pocket. A rain jacket can also be a great windstopper layer, so if you do feel the chill starting to set in, you can whip it out of your back pocket and put it on for short periods of time. This is great if you have a long descent coming up and you feel the cold starting to set in and when you're not pedaling, it'll keep you warm for the latter parts of your ride. We don't just want to keep our upper bodies nice and warm and dry, but we also want to think about our extremities. Yeah, things like our feet. We can head out on the bike and there's nothing worse than getting cold and wet feet. So, taking some overshoes with you, making sure you put them on before the ride, unlike me, and then you don't get caught out in those heavy downpours. But when those downpours do come, well, it can leave a lot of standing water. Yeah, so keeping your nice booties on will keep your feet nice and warm and dry and also nice and clean. Yeah, not that I could talk. I definitely should have put these on um, before the ride, not mid, but live and learn, team. We live and learn. Okay, so we've covered our top half, bottom half, and our feet. That just leaves us with our hands. Now, there's plenty of gloves out there, but a thin pair, I think, will really work perfectly for autumn riding. So find a pair that works for you, which gives you plenty of grip on the bars. And also, a thin pair works great because if you do get too warm, you can just put them in your pockets. An old pro once told me that you actually want to be a bit cold when you leave the house. And then once your body temperature has risen and also the temperature in the air, you'll be at perfect temperature before you know it. So I really do hope you get out and enjoy this beautiful season. It really is one of my favorite times of year to be riding a bike. But what I would also recommend is to try and stay as visible as possible because, well, the sun is a little lower in the sky at this time of year and visibility isn't as great as in the height of summer. So wear really bright clothes and if you can, put lights on your bike just so you can stay as safe as possible when you're out on the open roads. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped answer some of those questions you may have had when riding in what is a beautiful season. And we have to say a massive thank you to Theo Hester who did suggest this video in the comment section of a previous video. So we really hope these tips have helped you in your riding. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below if you missed anything. But uh, well, don't forget, what do we do after we watch a video? Give it a massive thumbs up. Give it thumbs a massive up. thumbs up. Yeah. yeah, so for now, mate, we need to get going. You need to get going. What? You, my arm warmers. Yeah, they're more yeah. like leg ones for me, so you can have them back. Bye, mate.